Hi viewers, this is Aron Subramaniam. Welcome to one second. So today we are going to show a way to change the preset value of timer from HMI. So just so now I am going to just open and WPL soft. As usual, file new. You do you can name it as timer. You can choose the PLC type and OK. So while setting up a timer instruction, don't for first of all don't forget to give an input address. So I'm just going to give an input address as x0. You can name it as whatever you want. You just uh, give a one single bit contact, okay? And then I'm going to give a timer. Timer is nothing but TMR. T0 is nothing but a timer number and we will give a constant value as K50 as a constant value of timer. So now I am going to give a data register address. It's uh, nothing but D0 and end. And don't forget to compile the program. So that's all about the timer. So now you can see that the D0 is in uh, constant va value of the D0 is K0, right? So now I am going to open an DOB soft. File new, I am going to select as BE415 series. Yeah, E415 next and you need to decide a communication between the HMI and the PLC, right? So RS232, RS482, whatever you want, okay. And then I'm just going to uh, give a button, momentary button. This right address is nothing but X0. And the text it as contact or x0. And if you need, you can insert a purchase, right? Okay, and then I'm just going to give a numerical entry. Okay, numerical entry is nothing but you need to, if you need a, you can give an uh, value to D zero data register address. I'm just going to select a data register D zero and if you need you can give a text which which type of text you need you can and then macros details whatever you want so the important thing is your right address is the important thing you need to give an d0 data register address and give ok and another one is nothing but numerical display in the numerical display you can give it a timer t0 so that's all about it if you switch on the timer right in uh, I will show it in an offline stimulation mode. If you switch on the timer, you can change the data register value. If you change the data register value and turn on the uh, contact, then the timer will start to run up to K50. So you can see here, you can change the value of D0. I'm just showing in a stimulation mode. 
uh, if you have a hardware both the hardware as well as uh, PLC and the HMI you can change it uh, D0 uh, K10 so if you turn on the contact you can see that the after up to 10 it will runs so in that way you can change the uh, preset value of data register at what level you need from HMI okay so that's all about it uh, if you have any doubts in this video you just comment below and if you like this video please subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching video